Crystal from Red Hot Stampers and today I'm going to show you this fun Merci treat box. So it holds Merci chocolates inside, three of them. Um, the original box is a modified version of the tutorial that is available on the Paper Pixie. So here we go. All right, you're going to start with it's an eight and a half by three and three quarters piece of cardstock. So you're just going to take your cardstock and you'll get two out of it and then you'll have extra left over to cut the um, the starburst circles from. So three and three quarters by eight and a half. Then you're going to score it at, so we're going to start, um, go from this side. So we're going to score it at three eighths three-fourths, three, and three and three-eighths, okay? And then you're going to flip it around, and you're going to score it at two and a half, two and seven-eighths, six and three-eighths, which on the new trimmer is just right at the start of that next ruler. So six and three eighths, and then six and three fourths. Okay. And then when you have that all scored, you're going to cut the um, corners of your paper out so that it looks like this. So you're going to cut out the corners. So you need your scissors. Cut out the corners and you're cutting um, both of the fold pieces away so you're cutting all the corners out and you need to leave two tabs at the bottom to fold it in one quick tip when you're going to do the um, round the corners use whatever corner rounder you have i have the old project life one so you're going to punch the corners and then to get those inside corners what you'll do is close that flap and then you can get that in fit that in easier and then you'll and so that's an easy little tip to get the the corners rounded so you'll trim the corners and then what you're going to do is on one of the sides you're going to adhere the um the dsp now these are cut to two and an eighth and we have three different pieces here so the longest one is it's two and an eighth by three and three eighths and that'll go on the back and then the next one is two and an eighth by two and three eighths and then I've rounded the corners so that it matches up with the flap that closes and then the last piece is one and five eighths so that will go on the part that holds that's um, holding the chocolates in so we're going to adhere that okay and just be sure um, if you want the corners rounded, then just be sure to round those before you adhere the DSP. I got that one a little bit off. And you can use whatever adhesive you like on this. Um, you can use your snail, you can use liquid adhesive, whatever you prefer. It's a little hard to see with the black and I tried to get it so that the gold stripe was the edge to make it just a little bit easier now remember this paper is actually part of a package that is free with a $50 purchase from now until the end of March I love all the black and gold designs on it and then it also has black and white on the other side okay so I've got that adhered. All right now I'm going to get my glue dots. I'll put a glue dot on each tab. And if you're using glue dots, you can go ahead and adhere a couple on those tabs as well. I'm just going to do a little bit of fast views because it's quicker. Now you just want to make sure that you don't go past the flap. So we're only going to go up to here. I'm just going to mark that. Oops, got it on my trimmer. Worked out okay. So just the outside flap. 
is where you're going to put the adhesive. Okay, and then you're going to close that up. So you'll want to make sure you fold all those in before you place the adhesive so that you don't get sticky everywhere. Fold that in, adhere it down. And sometimes um, if you want to just you know, poke your scissors in there to make sure that it's stuck together, that's a good idea. Okay, all right, then we're gonna take three of those delicious chocolates. We're just gonna give them a mixture. Let's see, all different colors here. Slide those three in, and then you're going to close that up. Now, to keep it closed, um, what you're going to use is the black satin ribbon. Okay, and you'll just take a piece, and you don't have to cut it off the spool yet to make sure you have enough. So you're just going to tie that kind of towards the top. You're going to... I tie it in a double knot. Um, but before I tie it, I'm just going to add a couple extra pieces. So here I've used the mini sequin trim. Some of it is on the clearance rack. So I've used the mini black and the mini gold. And you're just going to add those two strips in here while you tie it again. So you'll just take two straight pieces and you'll lay those onto your ribbon. Let me tie that one knot again. And just lay those on there in the center and you'll tie your knot again let's see if it lays flat for us it's okay if it doesn't lay flat we actually don't want it to this time so this is when our non bow tying skills actually come in handy okay so it's kind of sticking I do want them to kind of go down though, so I'll pull that a little bit. Okay, perfect. So I just want them to kind of be messy and stick out. And you could even trim this a little bit to give it more of like a different effect there. Okay, then we're going to take a black starburst punch and we're going to, um, you're going to stamp and um, then sprinkle, stamp in Versamark and then sprinkle the gold embossing powder on there and then heat emboss that. You'll pop this one up with a mini dimensional or a regular dimensional, whatever you have. If you have some of the black dimensionals, that this is the perfect project for that. They're over in my other drawer. So we're going to put the fleur de lis up at the top so it kind of pops out, gives it a little dimension there. And then I cut the Merci from the Parisian dies, and the little dot from the eye always gets lost. So I don't know where it is. I have a couple extras. <laughs> um, and then that one I would just adhere with the fine tip glue pen. And that little Merci, the little dot from the eye just fits right on there. And if it goes off, that's okay. Um, and if you've lost that, you can just use one of those little sequins too. So glue that on and then I'm going to pop that right on to the ribbon with a dimensional. So one way you can do that to make sure it's lined up correctly, I put the knot close as close to the top as I can and then I'm going to put the dimensional right on the ribbon because we don't want it stuck to the box. Then it'll be closed too much and then you're going to take that and just stick it right on there. And voila, there's your Merci box. This is a cute little package. You can give it out for Valentine's. You can give it out um, as a wedding favor. Just anytime, thank you, treats to customers, friends, clients, neighbors, whoever. So I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Merci. Au revoir.